Wanted to take a little bit of time here this morning to introduce our SLG 78 machine. Uh, this machine is designed for skid steers, bucket tractors, uh, the small compact articulating loaders, up to a 78 inch wide bucket. You have 78 inches of clear span screen deck opening from side to side. If you have a bucket that is wider than 78 inches, then you want to take a look at our SLG 108. For all those under 78, this is the ideal machine for your needs. This machine is powered by 110 volts. Uh, it runs our eccentric motor that is a 3600 RPM uh, and in some cases a 3000 RPM eccentric motor. Um, it's very simple, draws very little power. Uh, you can plug it right to a wall circuit or if you don't have power immediately available, you then can use a small generator. This particular machine, the SLG78, you could use a 1,200 watt generator. Uh, just be sure that you're using a good quality extension cord, nice and heavy duty. Again, you can have a, a generator up to 100, 150 feet away with a good quality cord and still power up this machine. Advantage to that is you've got your, your engine uh, with your air filters a long ways away from where all the dusty activity. Uh, even our old models had the gasoline engine or the diesel engine that was close to the screener right beside it. Uh, you could turn it so that you're facing away from the wind but all of a sudden you get a wind shift and it's blowing all the dust right back on onto uh, the engine. So it didn't matter which side the engine was on, if the wind shifted, that engine was drawing in all of that dust. So again, big advantage for this machine. It's very efficient. It's 110 volt. You can use as small as a 1,000, 1,100, 1,200 watt generator. And you can have it up to 100, 150 feet away, away from the dust and the dirt and the nasty environment. This machine works on the same principle as our SLG 108. We'll come around the back here and I'll show you our spring system and, and how the deck sits on. Just around the back of the SLG 78 here, I uh, kind of wanted to show you how this system works. Again, we're using the 110 volt vibrator, uh, bolts to this laminated mounting plate. Um, we don't just use a half inch plate. We take two quarter inch plates, laser cut, form them, put them together, laminated, plug weld them, so it has a lot more strength than just a standard half inch plate. The vibration heads out into these basic uh, the, the upright tubes. We actually suspend the deck over top of, of these here. You can see my hand going through so that the vibration radiates all the way out to the edge of the screener. It's not lost in this center tube. Um, the big advantage to that is if you do put something really heavy on here, it will come down and touch it so it's supported. And then once that load is off, then it'll come back up and have that full, uh, vibration radiating out to the edges. We have our, our coil spring and our C-spring same design, not in the duplex because we don't need it for the size of this screen deck. Again, we have our, our C-spring and our coil spring each opposing each other. So when you take this machine and put pressure on the coils, it in turn then stretches out the spring. And then once the coils expand, it puts pressure back onto the spring. So it has that opposing forces that keeps it in motion. This machine here, we have a, a setup here that's uh, what we call our load extension. This machine is eight foot from this edge to the other edge, has the ability to load crossways on your trailer so that you can still put your skid loader on behind. We found that to be really, really important insofar as if uh, a contractor's going out to a job site, if he has 10 or 15 or even five yards of material that there that could be recycled, you're not going to go back and hook up to a towable screener, pull it all the way out to the job site for only 5, 10, 15, 20, even 30 yards of material. This little machine here, it's, uh, it's kind of like the contractor's best friend. It can be with you everywhere you go. Um, you get into a situation where you're doing the dig out, you're looking for a little bit of pipe bedding material, or you're just trying to clean up some soil and leave it behind so you don't have to haul it away. You can run up onto your trailer, grab this thing, set it down, process, you know, uh, 10, 20 yards of material in 15, 20, 30 minutes, redeploy all that good soil, 
and then just be exporting the small stuff, throw this back on the trailer. Big savings for, for contractors um, when they can recycle on site. This is our load extension for our SLG78 machine. Basically what it does is it creates a, a narrower stance for this screener to sit on a trailer. An example is I have a little tilt tilt trailer that has the four foot stationary and my wheel come up through the deck because it's a low profile trailer. This machine here if I sat it on the trailer because it's not eight foot wide this side would fall down. What these do is you can slip them right into the, the pocket hole that's provided here, kick it into place and then you can use this one inch bolt to go through this hole here, go through the inside put the nut on and as you can see it brings it in another 18 inches. You install one of those on each side makes for a nice narrow trailer so you can just drive up set it down on the trailer chain it down in the way that you go. The load extensions, uh, the lift extensions, sloping legs they can all be purchased as an accessory for this machine depending upon the trailer that you have not everybody needs a load extension if your trailers are full eight foot wide so we break this stuff up uh, in increments so that you can buy the machine as to your needs and, and how much you want to spend on the screener. Now uh, these are our lift extensions for the SLG78. Um, as you can see, they just slide right into that pocket and allow you to pick it up and move it around with the, the uh, bucket cutting edge. We also provide a hole here so that you can drop a pin through. So once you slide it in, you can drop the locking pin in so it's locked into place. Again, these slide right into the pocket. They are reversible. You can turn them around and put them on the inside. Um, if you're loading this up onto a trailer, sometimes you want to turn the screener around the other way so you can put these lift extensions on the inside and pick it up and, and set it onto the trailer. This machine is a fully bolt together machine. What you're seeing here is an SLG 78 disassembled package ready for shipping. The the reason that we ship them this way, collapse, it's very, very economical. We can ship anywhere kind of in the, in the lower 48 for somewhere between $250 to $600, depending upon where that unit is going. This can fit inside of a box van. That's why we can ship them so economically. You're looking at about three hours, uh, three and a half, maybe even four hours for the complete assembly on this. Uh, with a vibratory system and, and whatnot. Our guys here at the shop, they can put one together in about two and a half, three hours. But if it's your first time doing it, uh, it's going to take you a little bit longer. So anyways, this is how you'll you'll receive a, an SLG 78 shipped to you. It does come on a, on a wooden pallet. Any extra mesh that you want to purchase gets stood up along the side and uh, get all banded together in, in one unit. The other thing we did want to talk to you about here today is, is the, the SLG78 machine. We now have a, a feed deflector uh, that can be bolted. It's a bolt-on attachment to this machine. Uh, it's a $600 add-on. Guys are really liking it. It uh, takes a lot of the technicality out of feeding the machine. You just drive up, pour your, your material onto the feed deflector. It then runs down, hits the screen, and comes down. I'm going to bring the, the skid steer around the other side. I want to show you how you can compress this deck to be able to change the slope. Um, you also have our sloping legs here that you can extend out that turn the machine back a little bit. gives you more stability when you've got the feed deflector and, and you're feeding it in big production. So, and I'm going to run around the back side here now and use the bucket and compress the screen deck and then we'll talk about uh, the difference in angles. As you can see here, when you come in with your bucket, you can compress this screen deck down to flatten out that slope and bring it down to about a 30 degree slope on this machine. It doesn't can labor quite as much as our SLG 108 does, but as you can see, it brings it all the way from a 45 down to about a 30. So 
The other thing that's that's nice about this with the feed deflector on here, in the bottom of the feed deflector you've got seven and a half inches of opening. When you get something bigger than seven and a half inches, it's going to sit between the bottom of the feed deflector and the screen deck here. When you can compress this screen deck down, it then adds another five and a half inches of opening. So you can get about twelve and a half inches of opening to let that oversized material come through.